How's it going? Yes, I'm still in the the bath the same damn bathroom. Yeah. I had a victory dump. You hear the, the commode freshening it up. Yes, I'm in the same damn bathroom because it's the brass fight. And I have no other extra lamp. Man is using it right now. She's watching Shay Carl on YouTube on her lap on our laptop. And here I am to do another vlog. I'm tired of saying it every time. I'm, just, I'm doing a video on something. I just uploaded my my second vlog, which basically is day life and me. But now this is a vlog I'm talking about is since we're almost a couple days away. I mean three days away from the so supposedly so called end of the world. Ooh. End of the world. I mean seriously. I mean oh, so so you've heard of it, it's supposed to be the last day of the the main calendar. And the day is posted it's supposed to happen like the world or something, uh, something, someone told me that it's maybe not the end of the world, but something, some day great. I mean, suppose that I, I read on the internet, but you know, some shit you don't listen. Like, they make up some shit. You know, that's the internet. Like, the Mayan gods are going to come up here. I mean, maybe some ghosts. I mean, maybe some ghosts are involved. <sighs> I don't fucking know. But uh, I've read up here. Basically, it, it's... I don't know, I've been looking stuff online about it, but don't listen to some shit. Because it is bullshit, the internet. But, uh... But, I mean, I'm, I'm, I can just tell you that, you know, when I wake up on Saturday, and like, well, the world just ended, and here we are, we just woke up. I think it's a lot of shit, and that's what I think it is. I mean, after over all these years since I've been living, I mean, I, even, I just checked on Wikipedia, I mean, predictions from... Apocalyptic future or whatever, and there was a bunch of stupid stuff. People even have like, there's even people who did it like four times. One that I don't realize is that my grandma is a Jehovah Witness, but she and and supposedly people like I don't know some Jehovah Witnesses did this not once but twice or three times. They predicted that the world was supposed to end in 1974 or 1984. You know, and what the heck is that supposed to be? I mean, you're supposed to be only God, only God knows. Just like I'm gonna say at the end of the message. At the end of the video, only God knows. And then my grandmother's a Jehovah Witness, and she would say like, "Oh, the the world's gonna end on this day, you know. God's gonna come here, you know." And yeah, what Jehovah knows, and what Jesus Christ knows. So I mean, the Mayan calendar, yeah. Suppose there's no leap year, so we should have died six months ago. But it's not gonna happen until Jesus comes down to take his throne against from Satan. And to help all you people, this is my opinion. And if you want, if you say this, people, or you people, you atheists, think, oh, this is, that's just a bunch of jumble bullshit. Be you. I don't give a fuck. This is my right to, this, I'm entitled to my own opinion, okay? I'm a Christian. I try to live the life, you know? I'm just, I try to live it. I hate sinning. We were born to sin. I fucking get upset about it. Like, I hate Father, I talk to him. I hate Doing the, I hate doing this shit, but I am going back up because you know what? I get fucked back up and try again. But these predictions I've seen later on in the years are just stupid. Like this 12 12 12 ordeal. I don't know if it was a lot. I mean, I don't think it was dirty, but people were like posting on Facebook saying, like, oh, it's the end of the world. Oh my god, it's a same number day. This hasn't happened in a while. I mean, uh, 12 12 12. Are we going to die by a number? We're not going to die by a damn number. We're not going to die by a number. But I call it the same number day. It was 12 day. So, I mean, yeah. Uh, I remember people talking about this that 666 day when the Omen movie came out, the remake. They had to make another damn remake of it. Damien. What happened? Oh, the Omen movie came out, but something happened? No. I mean, maybe he the world. Maybe some Saint worshippers. Hell, I don't know. I mean, I was 16 at the time. I believe, I don't know, I don't remember, I'm not, I'm not going to go on it, but, um, oh, and then back, the supposed, the, well, yeah, the, the, the supposed the millennium was supposed to be the, uh, electronics or what, robots or whatever, someone who was obsessed, got, someone must have got obsessed with the movie Maximum Overdrive, the movie that Stephen King directed, I mean, he wrote it. He wrote, but then he also directed, which became, which was a flop movie. But I thought it was a really B movie. But I thought it was very good with Emilio Estevez. 
like all these automobiles and shit's getting taken over by this Jupiter or whatever. I don't know. I, I saw the movie. I'm not gonna go get it. Like, it, it controls all these appliances and stuff like that. Or, someone thought the Terminator was real. Someone thought, oh my god, there's really a Skynet here. Mm. Let's get away from that guy who said, I'll be back. Get away from him. Mr. Arnold. <laughs> you know what? I'll be hooked to him, like, Don't be a good man. I'm here to pump you up. Man, if you did that to him right there, <laughs> he gets shot in the damn head. I don't know, but... But Skynet, supposedly, oh yeah, the Terminators are going to come back. What happened? You know what happened? I mean, the, the, the whole night... We got George W. Bush that came into office. Supposedly... Screwed over Al Gore, or I suppose they say Florida. And I think it was, I think it was, what the fuck is that word? Inside, in order to inside job, but I was supposed to happen. Scripted wise, because look, they made a movie. I mean, I could see on here. Yeah, they made a movie, Recount, with Kevin Spacey and stuff. I didn't watch it, I only saw a little bit of it. I don't, I don't know about this world. I'm not a political person. And then the next year later, 9-11 uh, came. I mean, it's, whole, it's such a tragedy, though. But I think, and I'm going to tell you this, if you don't like it, shut up. I think 9-11 was an inside job. I think this whole government, I mean, it's going to fuck us over in the end. I mean, we're gonna get, I think at the very end, we're all going to get shitted on. To us, to everybody, this whole world is one big, gigantic shit bull. Shit toilet, shit, whatever you call it, a quarter potty, a gigantic quarter potty. We are turds in this infested shit water. And when it's time to go, we are going to get flushed and we die. So, we're different but turds in this life. You know, me and her, me and man is going to have our kid, our baby. We're making a baby turd. It's going to be a little baby turd. It's going to grow up to a big turd. He's going to follow up to his idols, Mr. Hanky. But, oh yeah, he can also say, oh, he's one of those Sam the Slam, or he's one of those conspiracy theorists. I don't get it. You know what I am? Maybe I am. You want to check out conspiracy theorists on the best world? Check out Jesse Ventura's videos. Great. And these supposedly, these, po these uh, people in the entertainment... Like Piers Morgan and all this other crap and Joyce Corrar, whatever from The View and that Elizabeth Heckle back and all this stuff. They try to go out, I mean, like when Jesse Ventura is trying to say something, they do this, oh, they didn't do that. You're just nothing but a little Illuminati scum. You don't care, you don't listen to this stuff. I mean, I, 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 go look at Mark Dice. Good videos. Mark Dice does some good videos. When you have your out to doing was, I don't know, I watched his video with Bohemian Grove, I mean, all that stuff, but I don't get stuff anymore, I mean, that's me. Uh, I believe there's a higher power in here, I believe the Illuminati is here. And I believe the NWO is going to come around there. Now, I would have had the NWO and, and WCW, but not the real new run over. But, uh, you know, I, but these predictions for the, for the world to end, I mean, there was some guy named Ronald something, I forgot, he was from some church. He predicted, I looked on this list on the internet here, he predicted four times, and every time it, it doesn't come true, he says, oh, Jesus Christ is going to come this, this, the next year. I'm like, what? Hold on, I'm going to find that damn thing, just to tell you, because that thing is stupid as hell. Let's see here. This is Ronald, man, he's from the church thing. I don't, predictions of the world to end. Predictions. Nah, you know what? I don't need to read this stuff. I don't remember now. He's supposedly, this year supposed to, January or March or something like that. And he supposedly didn't happen. And then he said, oh, next year. Dude, God's going to come when he's ready. Jesus, Jehovah, I believe in all that stuff. I mean, things, no more. Jehovah Shalom, or whatever, I forgot that word. But he's going to come when he's going to come. Oh, well, you know, it doesn't matter. You could do nothing. And he's going to come when he's ready. But I mean, just like I said at the first part of the video, Jesus is going to come back when he's ready. 
you know, take back his throne against Satan. And that's all I gotta say about that. But anyway, I mean, you guys, my friends on Facebook, friends on YouTube, if I have any friends, do you have any, like, what's the dumbest prediction that you ever heard of what the world's supposedly going to end? I mean, that's my question of the day. I mean, it's not really a question, it's just, like, have you heard of any dumb, stupid predictions of the world going to end? Just comment. Comment below, here, or comment on my Facebook, here, down in the comment, Facebook, whatever. So I'm going to get off here. And I hope I'll see you when doing a vlog. <laughs> so, uh, happy holidays in 2012. I'll be tokened up. BTV, blunt token villains.